And he like, yeah, like, you know, we can't be doing that, like, while we're wearing, like, a Walmart uniform because, you know what I'm saying, it's soliciting information. And, you know, when you're uh, working for Walmart on the clock, you know what I'm saying, you're part of Walmart. And, you know, you need to be strictly Walmart type shit. <laughs> Good wavy gang. I'm coming at y'all with another video here today, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in and clicking on my video. And as always, I love y'all and I appreciate y'all, man. But before we even hop into any video today, I need y'all to stop what y'all doing right now and pause this video and hit that like button right now, man. We on that road to 5K subs right now, y'all. This right here is our current sub count. So what I need y'all to do right now is stop what y'all doing and share this video with at least two people y'all know. Y'all know the vibes as I say in every video, man. So this right here is gonna be a different type of video, y'all. As y'all can see, I'm dolo right now. I don't got nobody with me. Usually my girlfriend is always with me, man. My girlfriend, I miss my girlfriend so much, man. But you know what I'm saying? I'm by myself right now for filming this video because I honestly felt like in this situation, and for me to talk about this, I have to be by myself, bro. Because, you know what I'm saying? This happened to me. And, you know, I don't want this to happen to none of my supporters. Enough talking, man. I'm going to just hop into the story time real quick. So, basically, I got let go of Walmart yesterday. And I'm going to tell y'all how I got let go. I got hired at Walmart about a month ago, y'all. I got hired, like, August 4th, 2023. And keep in mind, like, I worked at Walmart two previous times before I got hired this time. Like, this time right now. I got hired once in 2022, and I got hired once in 2020. Now, keep in mind, the first time I worked at Walmart in 2020, I worked there for like three months and I got like let go because I was seasonal. I worked there like from October 2020 to like January 2021. And they let go like a bunch, a bunch of a seasonal employees, a bunch of a season, a bunch of seasonal employees because you feel me, they was like seasonal. So I was part of the seasonal employees that they got let go of. So they was like, you know, you could reapply in six months and, you know, you could come back and, you know, start over again. And at the time I was younger and I was really enjoying Walmart. Like I honestly, genuinely like really liked working for Walmart when I was younger. And it's crazy because y'all, the pay was not that good. Like when I was working there in 2020, I believe the pay was like, 12 50 12 dollars because i live in arizona man so the pay was not that good now that i'm thinking about it but somehow y'all my checks would be hitting i'm not even gonna lie like them two week checks if you know you know man them two week checks after that 12 dollars an hour if you was making that back in 2020 you know that was actually good bro if you was young and you would have no bills to pay but now that's no cheese for real bro like that's not touching no money so but that's besides the point man so i was touching that money and you know what I'm saying? I got let go. I was seasonal. And I actually ended up reapplying in six months, y'all, because you know what I'm saying? I really needed a job. I was struggling at the time. It wasn't six months. It was about like a year after I worked there and then, or a year and a half, I worked there. And then, you know, I worked there again type shit. You feel me? Because I was like, you know, I'm gonna give this another shot because I need money right now. And, you know, why not? You know, I'm investing in something. I, at the time, I was just starting my YouTube channel as well. So, you know, I felt like it was a perfect opportunity to, you know, talk to people, engage with people. It's customer interaction. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, this is a good opportunity for me because I love talking to people, you know, and I love helping people. So why not do something like this? In 2020, I got hired for OGP. Y'all, and OGP was a pretty smooth position. I'm not even going to lie. At the time, it was because most of the time, you know, they would have me dispensing. I wasn't really picking that much, you feel me? Because I guess they didn't want me to pick because I was new that whole time during 2020. Y'all, I swear on y'all. Like, if y'all know what picking is and like Walmart, comment down below. If y'all work there, Y'all yeah, know, man, but they did not have me picking at all when I worked at Walmart in 2020. I deadass only, like, dispense, like, people's uh, bags and stuff to their car, you know. And dispense is basically, like, just take the uh, groceries and stuff to the people's cars, and that's it, man. That's dispensing. So, that's how I was getting a bag. 
in 2020, you know, and, you know, nobody actually offered to help pick, you know, nobody offered to, you know, train me to, like, you know, pick nothing like that. And when I first got there in 2020, nobody even really trained me to dispense, you know, they just threw me in a room with some random nigga, you feel me? And, you know, he just taught me what he knew and he only worked there a week. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, I ain't gonna lie, the training at Walmart is real bad time. All right, so anyway, yo, we're gonna go back to 2022, man. I got hired at Walmart again in 2022. And this time, I ain't gonna lie, like, I wasn't as motivated to work there as I was in 2020, but I was still motivated for the simple fact because I had my YouTube channel started up. I had just hit 1,000 subs, I believe, at the time. Or I was just under 1,000 subs. I was just under 1,000 subs. So I was determined. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go here. You know, I'm have a good time i'm gonna hit 1000 subs while i'm here you know what i'm saying i have something to motivate me while i'm working and get into the bag because if y'all know man working at walmart is not for the week bro it is not for the week like you really gotta have the hard work and dedication to get through those shifts because if y'all know y'all know man them shifts at walmart be od sometime but you know what i'm saying i will always get through it and stay motivated and stay focused because for the simple fact that i knew i was saving for you know stuff for my youtube channel and i love talking to people i will always meet new people every day and some of y'all know me from walmart you know what i'm saying a lot of my subscribers are literally from walmart i've talked to y'all and i've met some of y'all personally you know i love each and every one of y'all that has been supporting me throughout like all my videos man it really means a lot but you know what i'm saying that's what i love to do i love to interact with people I love to talk to people and you know what I'm saying? I was doing that, you know, for the first time. I got hired at Walmart at 2022 for OGP again. And you know, after that, you know, I was, I ended up actually picking. So the second time I got hired at Walmart, they actually trained me to pick. So I can't say they didn't train me to pick, man. So I ended up picking, but I got let go of that Walmart because they said my pick rate was slow. You know what I'm saying? They said my pick rate was slow. So in 2022, I got let go of that Walmart. And you know what I'm saying? I thought I was doing real good. But I think what it was, y'all, is that I would stop and talk to so many customers about my YouTube channel. And that would slow up my pick rate. Because if y'all know, you got to be really fast when you're in OGP to pick out different items, man. And if not, they're going to be on your ass about that shit, gangster. So, you know what I'm saying? I can't admit, in 2022... That was me. That was straight up me just, you know, talking to people and, you know, going out my way to, you know, like talk to people and, you know, it, you know, led to me, you know, getting let go of. But they actually said the same thing um, they said in 2020 to me. They said, you know, your pick rate was slower than other people who was below average. So unfortunately, we're going to let you go, but you can reapply in six months like they said in 2020 man so i'm like all right bet you know what i'm saying like it's cool you know what i'm saying but at that point y'all i ain't gonna lie like i was so unmotivated and i was with regs at the time bro and i had got regs the job at walmart too well, i didn't get her the job for me but like i motivated her to apply and you know work at walmart for me because at the time she was unemployed too and we both needed work she had just lost her job too so at the time we honestly both needed to work and i'm like all right so if i can get myself hired at walmart i damn near can like push my girl to you know motivate her to get hired at walmart too and i actually did it you feel me so i got her hired at walmart in 2022 with me and some of y'all i've seen my girl at walmart working you feel me out here where i'm staying but you know what I'm saying? She was working there still after I got let go because I'm on some type of time. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to like, have an opportunity for myself and not my girl. I want my girl to do big things just as much as I want myself to do big things. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I kept, you know, taking my girl to work every day. You know, I kept motivating her to keep going to work as much as possible. But eventually, y'all. Her motivation started to go down as well, you know what I'm saying? Because it was so, she was so used to like, you know, seeing me on her lunches and seeing me just walk around the store and, you know, holla at her throughout uh, the day and shit, you know what I'm saying? And she started to honestly miss me because, you know what I'm saying? I would go see her on her lunch. We would talk on her lunches and, you know, she would just be telling me how situations where it would just be getting worse and worse and worse, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, like, it got to the point, y'all, where like she was so fed up with it, you know what I'm saying? She was so fed up with all the stuff that was going on throughout walmart man so you know what i'm saying she eventually just said you know she gonna quit and she was done up with walmart for 2022 so my girl actually left walmart in 2022 because of the situations that was going on and i'm not gonna speak on all the situations you feel me because 
I'm gonna let her tell y'all that. You know, I want her to specifically tell y'all what she was going through whenever she hops in a video again. But you know what I'm saying? She ended up quitting. And that at that point, you know what I'm saying, we was not working. But you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna skip to the point right now, man, where we at right now. So like I was saying earlier in the video, y'all, I got hired at a Walmart out here in Chandler in August 4th, 2023. So on August 4th, 2023, I got hired at Walmart in Chandler. And you know what I'm saying? I was not motivated at all to work at this Walmart. I'm not even going to cap because this is my third go around, y'all. And I was with some type of time. I was even telling Ari Jesus, like, if this messes up, then like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not working at no Walmart ever again you feel me i'm dead ass about that shit so it's like i was really focused and you know determined not to mess up nothing you know what i'm saying because the first two times did not go well for me i got let go twice in a row and somehow i end up back at walmart once again you feel me and i'm like all right so third time's a charm and i was telling my girlfriend like if i mess this up you know what i'm saying it's over with. i'm not working for another walmart you know what i'm saying so i got hired the third time for um self-checkout or you know upfront type shit you feel me i don't know if i told y'all the second time when um i got hired i was ogp again and you know my pick rate was slow i'm pretty sure i did but you know what i'm saying i'm just i'm flowing right now i'm ranting to y'all man excuse me but you know so third time i got hired for self-checkout slash you know uh, register work and all that basically upfront type shit you feel me and you know what i'm saying it was smooth i ain't gonna lie like it was smooth like it wasn't no hard like treacherous ass work or nothing like that you feel me it was inside you know air conditioning you know i was talking to people like i always do you know what i'm saying so it was cool i actually hit 2,000 subscribers while being at walmart you feel me just talking to different customers about my channel and shit and you know engaging with different customers as i help them and stuff so you know thank y'all to everybody that has subscribed to this channel from you know walmart that i went up to you and talked to thank you so much for you know supporting the videos because you know it goes such a long way when my girlfriend and i look at y'all comments you know we really appreciate it and it motivates us to keep posting videos and keep being consistent as much as possible you know what i'm saying so i want y'all to keep supporting us keep following us because you know we're gonna keep being consistent i told my girlfriend this last night like, like just because uh you know this situation happened to me you know i'm a still i'm this shit is just gonna motivate me bro like i still want to hit 3,000 subs by december and i told you after 3,000 subs 4k 5k is gonna come real real soon bro you know what i'm saying like we on that road to 5k right now y'all so you know what i'm saying my goal is to hit 3k subs spin through 2k as soon as possible bro like we're gonna spin through this 2k real fast and be at 3k and then after that 4K gonna come even sooner, I promise y'all, man. But I'm getting off topic. Let me hop back into it. I was having a good time though, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I ain't gonna say I was having like the most fantastic times. You know what I'm saying? I was enjoying myself at work, you know. And at first when I started working there, I was not talking about my YouTube channel at all, you feel me? Because, you know what I'm saying, of the such simple fact because I've worked at a job before where I've got let go of of the job for, you know, talking about my YouTube channel. So it was like, you know, I was not about to risk, you know, losing my job for talking about my YouTube channel because I guess they say that's like, quote unquote, soliciting personal information. So, you know, I guess jobs be really funny about, you know, when you talk about stuff that's personal to you and, you know, you're a part of the company, you know, but I was like, you know, I'm not finna promote my YouTube channel, you know, I'm just finna go here and work my, get my money and, you know, come home and focus on being consistent and posting videos for y'all. That's how I started off, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was my goal. I was just focused on consistently posting and working, you know what I'm saying? But it got to a point, y'all, where, like, I would see my subscriber count literally drop, like, you know, a little bit. You know, I hit 2K, and after I hit 2K, y'all, like, my subscriber count would literally like go down a little bit you feel me like it was literally to a point where i was like at literally 2000 subs straight up like 2000 subs flat like i was growing to like maybe 2015 subs and you know at a because when i hit 2k y'all i was trying to secure 2k so when i hit it i was like a little bit like over 2k like 2015 and after that i was on some like rest shit i was on some laid back shit i ain't gonna lie i was on some procrastinating shit i was on type time like all right i hit 2k now you know i could focus on like you know posting consistent videos and you know just 
just keep posting as much as possible. You feel me? I wasn't focused on like promoting my channel and getting my channel out there as much as I was like before on the road to 2K, on the road to 1K, you feel me? So I was just focused on posting consistent. But, you know, as my subscriber count would drop, I started to get like really motivated to, you know, talk to people and get my channel out there and tell people about, you know, how hard my girlfriend and I have been working on these videos because y'all we have been working so hard and being consistent and you know posting as much as possible i'm not even gonna lie like even working at walmart you know what i'm saying like i would literally like bust my ass work like an eight hour shift come home film a video post a video as soon as i get home then after that film a video edit that video you know what i'm saying like i was really like on some grinding shit when i was working because i told y'all in my previous video man like never like slave or you know not even slave because you know what i'm saying you need your money but never work all day for a job and you know what i'm saying don't come home to work on your actual dreams and aspirations because you never want to work all your life for another company you want to eventually build your own business build your own brand like that's your goal you never want to work for somebody else and have somebody else tell you what to do for the rest of your life so that's honestly the goal i don't recommend y'all work for nobody else because nobody wants to be told what to do and when to do it all the time you know what i'm saying that's nuts so as time went on y'all i started to talk about my youtube channel more and more and i was working in the self-checkout area so most of y'all have seen me in that self-checkout area you know talking about my youtube channel as i help y'all out man and you know what i'm saying i was enjoying myself i was enjoying meeting new people i was enjoying helping people you know it was a grind but you know what i'm saying i would just be at walmart just listening to my uh i'll have my airpods in so I would just listen to my music. I would have one AirPod out and one AirPod in so I could hear my customers and shit and interact with the customers. But you know what I'm saying? It was cool. It was a grind, man. So here's where we get into the part that's kind of a conflict, man. So I had this team lead, and I'm not finna say her name in this video because I'm not exposing nobody in this video. I'm not giving nobody clout at all, man. I'm just like telling y'all for future references, if y'all ever want to work at Walmart, what y'all are going to expect when y'all work there, man, because... This is what happened to me. This is my experience working there after three times, you know? So I'm basically a veteran in this shit. I've been there three times, bro. And like, you know what I'm saying? I've seen this shit happen three times in a row. But you feel me? Uh, I had a team lead that like was picking on me, bro. Like OD. And like, as soon as I got there, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like she was targeting me. Because, like, it was little shit that she would do, y'all. And, like, it would make me feel like, you know, she did not like me, bro. Like, I ain't even gonna cap. Like, it was just one situation where at Walmart, you know, if y'all know what a TC is, comment down below. But it's, like, a personal device at Walmart where, you know, you uh can see all the stuff that's going on in, like, the store. All the, like, functions that's going on in the store where you could look up where stuff at. It's basically, like, a mini, like, phone. Like, a work phone type shit. But I guess Walmart gives out these actual work phones. It's not like a TC, like a like how it is, how a TC is. It's like an actual, like, Samsung Galaxy phone that they give you now at Walmart. And, you know, you can take that phone home. You know, it's a work phone. And, you know, you could use it, I guess, as a personal phone. You feel me? You got a SIM card and all that. But you feel me? Like, it's literally like a TC, bro. Like, it got all the functions where you could go on Walmart and me at Walmart and the Upfront app, all that shit, bro. Like, you feel me? Um, I forget what the other app is for OGP. I think it's GIF2. You can go on that shit. But y'all get the point, man. Y'all can go on any app on that phone. So, y'all, my team lead actually gave me one of these phones as soon as I got hired because she was saying, like, you know, you need this phone to work up front and you always gotta have it in your hand at all times because if somebody sees you without the phone they're gonna think like oh like you know he's not working and stuff like that and you know he's just bullshitting you feel me so my team lead was urging me to always keep my uh phone you know in my hand my work phone in my hand so you know i could see what's going on in the store so i'm like all right shit copy so i'll always keep my phone in my hand always you feel me but the thing is, y'all, she gave me this phone and she gave me like no charger, nothing like that. She was like, oh yeah, you got to buy your own charger. And I'm like, bro, what? So how y'all give me a phone and y'all expect me to like use it, take it home, you know what I'm saying? Like literally have it as my own phone, but she don't give me no type of charger or nothing like that. You expect me to provide my own charger. Like what? What person gives somebody a phone and gives them no charger, bro? Let me know if that's some bullshit or not. I ain't gonna lie. But anyway, she gives me the phone and I'm like, all right, bet. That's what that's all the stuff that was going through my head when I'm thinking that, you know what I'm saying? Like she gave me a phone with no charger. So that was the first red flag. So I'm like, all right, bet. 
I just take the phone, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I just use it. And eventually, as time goes by, you know, like three or four days go by of me using this phone and the phone dies, you know what I'm saying? Because being at work all day, working eight hour shifts and not charging it, the phone eventually died. So the next time I came to work, I'm on some type of time like, all right, how am I going to charge my phone? Because I kept forgetting to get, you know, a certain specific type of charger for that. But it's like when I get off work, y'all, I'll be focused on grinding for y'all. I'm making videos for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I don't be focused on, you know, like charging my phone for work the next day or focused on work at all. Matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? When I'm at work, that's when I focus on work. And when I'm off work, you know what I'm saying? I focus on my dreams and my aspirations. You know, that's focused on making videos, being consistent, you know, eventually getting monetized, you know, and hitting all my goals, man, on YouTube. So that's what I'd be on, man, when I get off. So I would never, like, you know, actually get the charger. I never actually got the charger, y'all, because she would always say, you know, get the charger. You know, you got to get a charger and, you know, charge your phone at night. And I never got the charger because it wasn't on purpose or nothing like that, you know, because I would remember when she said, but it was just like i'm a busy guy y'all you know what i'm saying i always be working i always be filming videos so it's like i never actually got the chance to go out and get the charger because you know all the stuff that was going on in my life so anyways y'all i came back that fifth day because i told you i worked four days and you know the phone was perfectly fine so after that i came back and my phone was dead because i always kept my phone in my walmart vest after i got out of work you know what i'm saying i never took it inside and i kept my vest and my backpack so as soon as i got up the next day my vest would be in there i could just get up and drive to work and put on my vest go right to work i mean i don't gotta search around look for stuff and stuff like that i could just put on my vest and go right to work so that's what i would be doing so i drove to walmart that day y'all and i was like damn like how am i finna like charge my phone man you feel me because my phone was completely dead when i got there i'm like damn my phone my work phone is completely dead. So I'm like, how am I going to charge it? But the first thing that hit my mind, I'm like, you know, I guess they probably got a charger back there. They got to have a charger back there for these phones because everybody has these phones, y'all. If y'all work at Walmart up front or shit, like anywhere in Walmart, y'all got one of them like personal work phones, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Like my phone died and I'm like, all right, like the first thing that hit me, like I'm going to go to my team lead and, you know, hopefully they got a charger for me to charge it like for the moment being and you know what I'm saying? I could just rock out with, you know, uh, nothing for right now. You feel me? I guess. And you know what I'm saying? Self-checkout is not hard, y'all. It's not hard at all. Like, they literally give you a little slip and a barcode that got your, like, you know, numbers for upfront on it. And, you know, you just scan that every time somebody mess up something. Or, you know, if that don't work, type in your numbers, like, your work numbers to, you know, make sure the machine is still working good. And that's it. But, like, self-checkout is literally one of the easiest jobs ever. It's light bread for real. So anyways, y'all, I went to my team lead that been picking on me, man, and I told her, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got no charger, you know what I'm saying? I still didn't get no charger, and you know what I'm saying? My phone died, and you know, she really, like, was mad about that shit. I'm like, like, bro, like, I ain't gonna lie, and I didn't care that she was mad about it at all because it was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm a busy guy, you know, if I don't have time to buy a charger, I'm not finna buy a charger, you feel me, gangster. So it was like I was working, I was doing stuff, I had stuff going on in my personal life that I couldn't, and she was literally like, you know, like, you know, you gotta keep, you gotta buy a charger, you know what I'm saying? Like, why don't you buy a charger? There's literally a charger right there up front, you could get it and buy it, you feel me? And this is like literally when I first started working there, y'all, like, when I didn't have no breach, because when I first started working at Walmart, I ain't gonna lie, y'all, I was completely broke, I ain't gonna cap, I ain't have no breach in my pocket, so... She was urging me to buy this charger and stuff like that when I didn't have no money in my pocket, you feel me? But, like, I was finna tell her that, you feel me? But, like, I'm that's the whole thing I was thinking in my mind. I'm like, yo, like, you want me to buy a charger and shit, but I don't got no breach right now. And I don't get paid for two weeks, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna buy that charger whenever I have the money to buy the charger, you know what I'm saying? Yo, I just feel like I know I never bought the charger, you feel me? Even when I ended up getting my first check and, you know, my second check, I never bought the charger, bro. Because it's like, I never got to it. I was so busy and focused on making videos and posting for y'all and just spending time with my girlfriend and honestly just living life, bro. Like, after I got off of work, I ain't gonna cap. Like, I was just focused on just living life and doing me, bro, because, you know, you only live once. I tell y'all this all the time when I tell my girlfriend this all the time. You only live once, bro, and, you know, nobody wants to work for a job all day and just come home to depression and not doing nothing. You know, I told y'all I'm an adventurous-ass guy, bro. Like, I love to do 
different stuff and you know explore the world and just see different stuff in the world bro so that's what me and my girlfriend would be on as soon as i got off work like we will always try to do something before the next day because i will always work that first shift you know and that first shift if y'all know y'all know man be a killer sometime but it's always a w because you get off early you know what i'm saying but you go in early and not be like you know the little conflict you feel me that going in early be hard you're getting up sometime so boom y'all let's fast forward to a week later y'all so she charges my phone she ended up charges my phone that day when i said my phone died and she gave me it back at the end of the day so i rocked out that whole entire shift that my phone was dead with no phone bro you feel me and i picked up my phone at the end of the day it was at 100 percent. you know what i'm saying we good you know so fast forward to five days from now or basically like a week later my phone died again and at this point y'all i had just got my first check you feel me so like i was able to get a charger like physically i could have got a charger and bought that shit if i wanted to you know what i'm saying but it was other shit that you know i had to take care of you know i wasn't focused on getting no work charger like for my work phone you feel me like because i don't be focused on work when i'm not at work you feel me like i was like i would always think to myself and that's one thing about me i'm a procrastinator but i was always some type of time like damn i could charge it whenever i get to work they got a charger at work why don't i just charge it whenever it's dead at work you feel me why should i charge it before i go to sleep and you know you know what I'm saying? I don't know, y'all. It's weird how I think. I go back, and my, my phone is dead again. And this time, y'all, when I take it to my team league, that's the first thing I think. Like, all right, I did it the first time. I'm going to do it again. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take it to my team league. The one that was picking on me, like I said. And you know what I'm saying? She going to charge it up, and I'm going to be good and shit, you know? And when I go to my team lead and ask her to charge my phone for me, y'all, this girl is on hot, bro. She like, bro, you need me to charge your phone again? Like, didn't I tell you to get a charger? Like, why aren't you getting a charger? You feel me? And I'm like, bro, it's like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I dead ass just told her, I don't know. Like, I have other stuff that I got to handle. You know what I'm saying? And she like, all right, well, you know what I'm saying? You know, I could write you up for not getting a charger and stuff. I'm like, all right, shit. Like, if you got to write me up, you got to write me up. You feel me? But like financially and i said this to her i'm like if i can't afford a charger right now you know what i'm saying i can't afford a charger you feel me so it's like you know you gotta you could do what you do and you know i do what i do you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna stop you you feel me but it's like you do what you do and you know what i'm saying she like all right and she took my phone and she charged it for me but you know what i'm saying she gave me like a tc to use for the entire day because she like you know you can't go an entire shift without a phone again because last shift was bad dope so she was like you know you take this tc use it until you know i can get your phone back and running at least to like 50 percent and you know we could do it like that so for that entire shift well not in the entire shift obviously like you know i worked like a seven to four that day and like from like seven to like 10 you know what i'm saying my phone was charging back where you know she was at and she gave me like that tc i was telling y'all about and about 10 10 30 she came over to me and she was like, all right, here's your phone. You know, it's something that's not fully charged, but, you know, it's halfway charged. But, you know, I need that TC back. And, you know, you got to remember to buy a charger, you know what I'm saying? And this keep, can't keep happening or else, you know, it's going to be another conversation. So I'm like, I right, bet. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. At this point, y'all, I'm like, all right, so I'm going to make sure my shit is charged regardless. So what did I, what I ended up doing is I ended up charging my phone when like it died in the break room because it will always be some type of charger for my work phone in that break room. They always have some type of charger in there. So I would make sure my phone will always be charged every time I go in that break room and take my lunches or take my breaks or whatever. I will always make sure I put my shit in the charger before I go back up front on the floor because you know I knew if she saw me with my phone dead again, she was going or I was going to hear her mouth, man. I was already known. So after them two situations, y'all i ain't gonna lie i honestly felt like this girl just kept picking on me and kept picking on me man and you know what i'm saying it was this one situation where i was working at self-checkout and you know what i'm saying she put me to the side real quick and i think i just got finished telling somebody about my youtube channel you know because this is at the time where you know i wasn't seeing no growth and like i was telling y'all in the beginning of the video i was stuck at simply like 2,000 subscribers so i was like you know what i'm saying i gotta keep growing you know my channel is like like literally like getting worse and worse and i don't want to hit below 2k when i just hit 2k and i'm talking about this 50 dollars amazon gift card giveaway and shit and like i'm not even at 2k so my mind was like going everywhere y'all when i was at that self-checkout so it forced me to you know go talk to people and engage with people and you know try to promote my channel as much as i can while obviously helping people and you know putting in the work you know what i'm saying but it led to you know my team lead the one that was picking on me 
to you know talk to me she talked to me real quick and she was like um hey like you know you can't uh talk to people about your youtube channel while you're on the floor and i'm like all right you know it's cool you know what i'm saying like i won't talk about it no more and you know another situation happened like maybe like two weeks later where you know what i'm saying i would because I, I kept promoting it after obviously you know what i'm saying i didn't listen to her because i just didn't want some low shit you know i wouldn't let nobody see me when i talk to people you know i would talk to them on some low shit you feel me but nobody would see me for real like it if you saw me talk to somebody, you know what I'm saying, you had to be really, like, engaging with me, but, like, I wasn't, like, I was really on some low shit, because I knew she was watching me, bro, and I kept telling my girlfriend this, I'm like, this team lead, you know, she's out to get me, bro, you know what I'm saying, she keep picking on me, and she keep saying little remarks to me, and I'm like, yeah, like, she definitely out to get me, so, you know what I'm saying, I would still promote my channel, but it would be on some low-key shit, you feel me, like, low-key, like, you know what I'm saying, I would literally, like, sometimes say it low, if y'all know, y'all know, I'll be like, hey, y'all watch YouTube, you feel me, but, like, it would not be on some, like, like, damn, y'all watch YouTube, like, I would not be that, bro, because, you know what I'm saying, I knew that Team Lee was kept coming back and forth, you know, to see if I was talking about it and shit, so after that, man, after she told me, like, you know, you can't talk about it and stuff, a week goes by, or two weeks, I told y'all, two weeks went by, man, and, you know, she comes and grabs me again, she's like, all right, um, can we go in the cash office real quick, and the cash office is basically, like, you know, where they do all the, like, stuff for, they keep all the cash, man, it's literally, like, how it sounds, the cash office, they keep all, like, the change for people to give back change and stuff, it's basically how it sounds, the cash office, so I went in there, and I guess that's where you have, like, conversations, like, you know, if it's a conflict or something like that, and, you know, I walked up there because, you know, once she told me she wanted to meet me in the cash office, y'all, I dead ass knew what, it, what she was going to say, bro. I already knew what she was going to be talking about. I already knew what the conversation was going to be like. And, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, like, let's do this. You don't feel me? When I get in the cash office, y'all, this team lead is in there, but it's a guy team lead. It's a guy team lead from the auto center, man. And I guess when you, like get in a conflict at walmart you know what i'm saying they gotta have like a guy and a girl there especially if like it's a guy that gets in a conflict you feel me because you know what i'm saying i've had that situation where i've gotten a, a conflict before at previous walmarts and it's always been a, if it's I, if i get in a conflict with a girl it's always a guy there you know what i'm saying they always have a guy and a girl there for some reason i don't know why but i've never seen this guy before you know what i'm saying this guy just like came out of nowhere and he was just sitting there I'm like, yo, what's good, bro? You know what I'm saying? He, like, he introduced himself. He was real cool. He was real cool people and stuff. But he was like, um, so, yeah, like, you know, your team lead keeps telling me, you know, you're talking about some YouTube channel that you have. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I talked to, like, some customers about it here and there. You know what I'm saying? And he like, yeah, like, you know, we can't be doing that, like, while we're wearing, like, a Walmart uniform because, you know what I'm saying, it's soliciting information. And, you know, when you're uh working for Walmart on the clock, you know what I'm saying, you're part of Walmart. And, you know, you need to be strictly Walmart type shit. And I'm like, ah, right, my nigga, you feel me? Like, he was cool about it. You feel me? He was mad cool about it. That's why I didn't say nothing. But, like, y'all, I was pissed, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Because I knew this team lead kept, you know, trying to get me in some type of trouble, bro. And, like, that nigga wasn't paying me no attention. You feel me? The only reason he knew about it and was there is because of my team lead that was picking on me. You feel me? And she had to have somebody to have that conversation with me. So, at that point, I feel like that's when she wrote me up. You feel me? I got a write-up at that point. And, you know what I'm saying, she, like, um, or the guy, the guy that I was talking to that was chill, he was, like, all right, like, you know what I'm saying, like, if we have another conversation, like, you know, it could lead to, you know, termination or something else, you know what I'm saying? I'm, like, all right, bro, like, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? I understand. So, boom, like, you know, that shit happens, and I'm, like, all right, like, you know, I got to really move tack now, you know? And it honestly led me to, like, be, like, more silent, and, you know, I was honestly, like, nervous because I wasn't trying to lose my job, bro, like, I really needed a job you know what i'm saying i still do need a job you feel me but it's like you know i wasn't about to stop like chasing my dreams and you know stop doing what i love and you know i was so determined so you know i kept trying to talk to people kept trying to uh, get my youtube channel out there as much as possible and you know what i'm saying like the team lee like you know i feel like you know she wasn't noticing you know what i'm saying she wasn't noticing as like at the end but it towards the end like y'all i ain't gonna lie like it got so big like i got so big towards the end that like literally like two supporters came up to me and like they asked me like you know like this or, is this your channel and stuff i'm like yeah like you know that's me and it was like you know i love your videos you know i love watching your videos 
And you know what I'm saying? Like that my team lead was right there when it happened. And she was like, uh, didn't I tell you like, you know, you can't be talking about your YouTube channel like when you're on the floor. And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Ma'am, the supporters came up to me. You feel me? Like the supporters literally came up to me and it's like, you want me to like say that's not me when it's like literally me. Like they literally took out their phone, y'all, and showed me my YouTube channel. It was like, is this you? And I'm like, you feel me? Like what would y'all do in that situation? Like would y'all just be on hush mode and be like, oh, I can't say if that's me or not. When like literally if they scroll through the channel, they could see it's me. And like, you know what I'm saying? I'm really passionate about what I do, y'all. And I'm still passionate about what I do. So I told them, like, you know, it's me. You know, I just hit 2K subscribers. And, you know, I'm doing a $50 Amazon gift card giveaway. I told them all the information about it and how they could be entered to do the giveaway. And, you know, my team lead that was picking on me heard all that stuff, bro. And that's when she was like, you know, I told you, like, you know, like, you're not supposed to talk about your YouTube channel while you're on the floor and stuff like that. And, you know, this is going to be another conversation now. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, you know what I'm saying, man? I'm like, they came up to me. You know what I'm saying? So if it has to be another conversation, it could be another conversation. You feel me? But at the end of the day, if two supporters come up to me and showing love, I'm not going to just act like, you know, I don't know them because I love y'all, bro. And it's like, I'm not going to act like I don't know y'all. If y'all come up to me and see me in person, no matter what uniform I'm wearing, if I'm wearing a Walmart uniform, if I'm not wearing a Walmart uniform, you know what I'm saying? It's like, whatever, bro, because I appreciate y'all showing love you know what i'm saying it motivates me to keep doing what i'm doing and after i said all that to y'all i'm like you know what i'm saying these supporters came up to me and you know what i'm saying if you got a problem with that you know you could talk to whoever you gotta talk to about it you feel me but it's like i'm not about to stop talking about my channel if especially like i get it like you know talking about it like speaking to people about it like you know after that when i was still doing it on some low-key shit because i was determined and i get what she was saying about that so listen to information but if like two supporters come up to me and talk to me about my youtube channel i'm not gonna just act like oh yeah no that's not me oh yeah no nah, i'm not gonna do that you feel me for nobody you feel me because it honestly just felt like it was on some npc slave shit bro like they wanted me to just like be strictly walmart don't talk to nobody about nothing else but walmart and that's it and i know Nobody at Walmart's doing that, bro. Like, I've literally heard other people at Walmart, people that's worked at Walmart, talk to other customers about other things besides Walmart. And, like, this is what this specific Walmart that I worked at was doing. It was also talk time, like, you know, you can't talk to nobody else but Walmart about Walmart, specifically Walmart. And I'm like, you know, that's not reality, bro. You feel me? Because, like, customers have, like, you know, different stories. Like, you never know what these customers are carrying with them, with them like, you know, every day people have stories to tell every day and i would be listening to these stories and like it would motivate me to tell them about my youtube channel because i would look at it like this like i'm gonna never probably see these people again in life you know what i'm saying but at least you know we had a good conversation and you know you could follow me and always like remember me for something you feel me and that's what motivates me honestly to keep talking to people and keep doing youtube because you know it's honestly so genuine when i get interactions like that where, you know, people enjoy talking to me and, you know, I finally get them to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And it's like, oh, like, you know, it's a new supporter and, you know, I won't ever see them again, but they'll see me again. You feel me? They'll always get to see me. And, you know, that makes me feel good. After that situation, y'all, about like three days later, y'all, she pulled me in the cash office again. And she was with uh, the same dude she was with that was the chill dude. And it was some other higher up dude. I don't even know what his name was. It was some bald nigga, bro. Some white bald nigga. But, like, that nigga was like, all right, so, you know what I'm saying? Didn't we have a conversation with you about, you know, you promoting your YouTube channel out there with certain people? And I'm like, yes, sir, you feel me? And uh, she was like, you know, I had a situation, a conflict where, you know, I guess uh, you uh, you came up to two girls and, you know, you told them to subscribe to your channel. And I'm like, uh, sir, excuse me, but, like, you know, the supporters came up to me. You feel me? Like, if two supporters come up to me, I'm not going to, like, shut my mouth and stop talking, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying, that's me, you know what I'm saying? That's what I do. So, it's like, if somebody at work, you know what I'm saying, notices what I do outside of work, I'm not going to not talk about it, bro. Like, nobody would. He was basically on some type of time, like, yeah, like, you know, this is a reoccurring thing. Like, you know, we had this conversation, and this is our third conversation about the same thing. So, you know, unfortunately, you know, we're going to let you go. You know, you can't work here no more. And I kind of stared at this nigga for a minute. I'm like, what you mean you let me go type shit? You feel me? You going to let me go because of that shit? Like, just because, you know, I'm out here trying to promote something positive and, you know, tell people about my YouTube channel. This nigga was like, all right, so, you know, you can't be soliciting your YouTube channel because you could solicit something that's wrong or, you know, it could offend somebody, somebody young or, you know, a mother or something like that. And if they, uh, uh what you call it? 
tell us or Walmart, you know what I'm saying, then, you know, we could get sued. And I'm like, bro, get sued for a YouTube channel? That's what you're telling me? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, bro. At that point, I'm like, yeah, this nigga just chatting, bro. You know what I'm saying? He was just trying to get me out of there. And he's like, all right, yeah, you're fired type shit. So he's like, I'm going to need your vest and your phone and stuff. I'm like, all right, bro, say that. Because at that point, them niggas just blew my shit. And, you know, the team lead that was picking on me was right there. But, y'all, she didn't say a damn word, bro. She didn't say nothing that whole conversation and it, like i'm like damn like you know what i'm saying i could have reported her for all the things that you know she did to me like you know i would literally be working y'all and like i wouldn't get a lunch till like literally my shift damn near ended bro you know what i'm saying like i would go, come in at like seven not get a lunch till like one maybe two and I, like i would work a seven to four and not get a lunch till like maybe one like two type shit and my lunch would be scheduled at like 11 you know what i'm saying so i will always take my lunch late you know what i'm saying like she was a bad, dope team lead. She was very irresponsible, very unprofessional. And, you know, I just want to, like, tell y'all this. That's my story time, man. You know what I'm saying? But it's over now. But I just want to tell y'all that, you know, never, like, give your all to a job and don't come home and don't, like, work on your dreams and aspirations. Work on your goals and aspirations, but also don't, like, you know, slave the whole day at work and then just be like, that's it, bro. Honestly, y'all, I don't think I'm gonna ever work at another Walmart ever again after that situation because, you know what I'm saying, I felt like it was very unprofessional and, you know, like, it's always a situation where I feel like it's something, like, that goes wrong at Walmart, you feel me? Like, they can never keep everything all together, bro. It's always something wacky going on at Walmart. So, it's like, you know, I'm eventually find another job, y'all. But, like, I don't think Walmart is a job for me. I don't know if it's going to be a job for y'all after this video. But I'm not going to say, you know, don't work at Walmart, you feel me? Don't work at Walmart, you feel me? I'm just saying, personally, me, I'm never working at Walmart ever again. You know what I'm saying? After my experiences, my three experiences doing this, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not working at Walmart ever again. And it's not no hate video. It's not no throwing shade type of video or nothing like that, man. This is just me telling y'all how I feel about a certain situation. And you know what I'm saying? Like me just motivating y'all to, you know, don't do the things that I do and learn from the things that I do in life. That's all. That's it for this video, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you share this video with at least two people, man. We on that road to 5K right now. And also don't forget to turn on my post notification bell so y'all know every time I upload.